guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my annual beauty declutter. So once a year or twice a year, I go and I mix it up in my beauty space and either get rid of the stuff I'm not using or rearrange it a little bit. And um, it's time for the drawers. The drawers are crazy. So if you didn't see part one, I will link that down uh, in the description below and in the pinned comments so you can watch that if you are interested to see what happened to my top shelf stuff. That's this stuff. Uh, we, we got rid of some NARS blushes, which was shocking, uh, but you know what? It's good to go. It makes space for new things because um, I'm always I'm always on the lookout for something new. Again, disclaimers, I'm aware I have a lot of makeup. It's a thing. I love it. I spend a lot of time here painting my face and it's fun for me. It's like my craft area. This is my canvas and these are my tools. I have a good time. So uh, I, I'm aware that I have a lot. So uh, there's no need for you to comment that. Just saying. Just let a girl live, let her have some fun, let her have her makeup, okay? So this is the underside, under back stock of my makeup collection, and I'm afraid to see what's going on down here, but that, that's fine. We're gonna work this out, it's gonna be great. Hi guys, it's Editing K. I'm back, and I'm ready to make comments. <laughs> So now that I've decluttered in the space that I use the most, all the top shelf stuff, we're gonna go down to the back stock. This is the Ikea Helmer. It has wheels on it. Um, oh, I gotta get rid of this bronzer too. In hindsight, I really should not have put the wheels on or I wish it came with some sort of stop because every time I open the drawer, it slides forward a little bit and that's really annoying. However, the wheels are on and there's nothing I can do about it. I guess I could take them off, but I'm not, I'm too lazy to do that. However, um, this is where I keep the back stock of my makeup. I do have little labels on here. I probably will redo them uh, because they're not true to what's in the drawers anymore. However, the first drawer still is palettes, so I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. It's my weakness, I love them. I have one on the way, and uh, don't judge me, okay? So here is the back stock of eye palettes. So I have a rotation system. So I have my top shelf eyeshadow palettes, which are basically my ABH eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> and this is like the back stock stuff that like doesn't get used as much, but I still love and want to keep. And I still, t I, st I still see things that I meant to get rid of, but didn't get rid of. That I think I'm still gonna keep. It's fine. All right, let's let's zoom you in. <laughs> okay, so. Pat McGrath, we're keeping her. I mean, come on, please. Um, the Tartlet and Bloom palette, I actually wear, wear, am wearing this today, and it's nice. I like this palette. It's pretty, I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of, it's like average, okay? Uh, but I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. It's got a nice big mirror. That's what I really like about it, so uh, we're keeping her. Um, the Z palettes, uh, I intentionally sort of made these to keep colors that I really liked from other palettes that I've got rid of so it's fine and if you can if you can't tell when you're depotting things sometimes you break them but I don't care whatever it, it's fine they still work um, but yeah we're keeping the Z palettes those are fine uh, the natural eyes palette I feel like I've wrestled with this for a while um, but I'm gonna keep it because I like it <laughs> glow kit this is one of my favorite things uh, I love her. She's awesome. These pans are huge though, and it looks like I never use it, but I use it all the time. So um, she's going to stay. There is some debate about these uh, Rainforest of the Sea palettes though from Tarte. I, both, I got these both in a BoxyCharm. So this is Rain... Oh my gosh, the mirror. This is Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. Now let's take a look at her. She's pretty, right? But like do all the colors look the same? Yes. Are they underwhelming? Yes. So I think I'm going to pass this on because I really like actually the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 because look how much more interesting. Let's do a side by side. Look how much more interesting um, the volume. Wow, they do look very similar next to one another, don't they? How hilarious. Come on, Tart. What are you doing? Like, they look the same. They look the same. The first one, this this one that I, I've used it, I've used I've used it a fair amount, and it's got these nice dark colors. Actually, really nice. I get a really soft look out of this palette. Really nice. This, this, however, not really my jam. So we're gonna give her um, to somebody who's gonna use it. So 
Um, oh, another disclaimer, all of this makeup has a place to go. Uh, my ladies at the opera, when we have tech week, when we're in the dressing room, uh, I, I have a bag of giveaways and they really appreciate it. It's usually the same. I work with like five or six of the same gals every time um, and they look forward to my makeup giveaway uh, experiences. So uh, someone's gonna be really happy to get this. Okay, so let's move that out because we're going to keep that. I've already talked about these Stila Windows of the Eyes palettes. I like these. I haven't used them as much as I probably should, but I like them anyway. I've used this one a whole bunch. Um, so those are hanging around. This guy, this other Stila palette is a hero. No one talks about her, but she's amazing. It's got like two blushes, a highlighter, and like a little eyeshadow quad or whatever you want to use it for. It's pretty bomb. No one talks about her. She's awesome. They're called the... um. Perfect Me, Perfect Hue. This is the Medium Tan. This is the Alomar Cosmetics uh, Rena de Caribe palette. I don't speak Portuguese, so I don't know if that was the correct pronunciation. However, um, I like this, okay? <laughs> I don't wear this a lot. It's kind of a summer thing, but like, look at that. Look at that. So pretty. We love this. Keeping it. She's not going anywhere. I love it. Winky Lux. Winky Lux is... Cool. I haven't used this palette in a while, but I do like it. I especially like this, this color here. Um, and I like this. I actually like, okay, this, I don't even talk about it anymore. Okay, Nightingale, gonna be honest. I received this in a box of charm, haven't used it yet. So I haven't got, I haven't given it a chance. So I'm gonna rotate it out and see if I like it. And if not, we're gonna give it away. Update, I used it on Sunday. Oh, this palette. I travel with this all the time. Okay, we're keeping her. Come on, please. I've had this sample in here forever. I'm just gonna throw it in the giveaway pile because I'm never gonna I'm never gonna use it. Oh, here's the narcissist eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, the brush fell out. Again, I don't think they make this formula anymore, this dual intensity eyeshadow formula, but I mean I liked it. This eyeshadow palette is one of those like subtle moments where like I, d I mostly use my finger in this. I mean, look, I'm gonna be honest. And like I dig in here and I go for this color and this color and maybe I'll do this color a little bit. I like this, so it's, I'm, I'm just keeping it. <laughs> I don't know why I have to justify it at all. Um, these guys I've threatened and plan to give away for the longest times and each time they end up back in my collection. Um, they still smell like chocolate. I still use them occasionally. It's not, I mean, they're not the greatest, let's be honest. Like these used to be like the bomb, right? But like, yo, I love, especially the um, the, the semi-sweet chocolate bar, I love it. I hate the packaging. It's annoying that it's like metal and it's But like, I love her, okay? I love, I've like dug into like peanut butter so much and um, yeah. No, it's staying. I'm sorry. Electric palette is so fun. It's staying. I'm so I like hardly ever use this, but like yo, I, it's it's so fun. And this one I use only on stage. This is the. Um, I mean, I should not do that. I should actually use this palette a lot more. But this is the Urban Decay Vice Four palette, I think. And um, it's cool. Like, look at the pretty colors. It's so pretty. Every time I think I need a colorful palette, I just get this out and I'm like, look, look what you have. Um, so I probably should use this more. Actually, I'm looking at it and I'm very inspired by it. So um, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it on my, I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to use it in just a few days. I like it. I like it a lot. It came with like a cool carrying case. I don't, I mean, I don't know why. Why would you need this? I don't know, but like <laughs> we're going to keep it anyway. So um, we, did we get rid of any eyeshadow palettes? I don't think so. Did I? I did. I got rid of the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3, so I decluttered. Now, so that was useful. <laughs> Welcome to my eyeshadow palette collection video. <laughs> Let's look in the next drawer and see what the deal is. This says, wow, okay. Um, I'm glad I opened this because I have to use this. Have you guys used this? This is the grossest thing. So this is a little like thing called Shiny Foot by Tolly Moly. You put your feet in it. It's like it's like little plastic socks that you put your feet in and you pour liquid in there and you keep them in there for like 20, 30 minutes. And you can walk around and everything. It's not like, it's totally sealed. Then you take them off and then like maybe like five or six days later, your feet start peeling and it is the grossest thing on the planet. But after all the skin peels off your foot, you have the baby soft foot of all time and it's worth it. So don't do this in the summertime because you're gonna gross everybody out. But like in the winter time, like right now, 
it's a good time to do this because no one's going to see your feet. And by the time your feet come out, you might wear a sandal. So, I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I bought this off Amazon. I forgot how much it was, but like it's worth it. So I'm going to use this tonight actually. Okay, so this just looks like skincare or like beauty tools. So we've got like a little, there's some medicine in here. I got some eye masks and um, a cognac sponge, cognac sponge. This is a really weird drawer. I've got some <laughs> Q-tips, some hand cream, a mirror, blotting papers in it, a little sample of like black tea age defy, age delay cream from Fresh, a little mask. Um, sure. I mean, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> uh, that's a strange drawer. What's in this? Oh, this is lips. Something tells me I'm definitely gonna get rid of something in this drawer, so here we go. Okay, this drawer gets so much sadder every time. So sad, what's this? Oh, it's scrub, that's fine, that can hang around. So my Burberry lipsticks aren't going anywhere. I use these, these are bomb. Look at their like all mag magnetized together because they have a magnetic closure. So cool, these are the fanciest lipsticks I own and they're not going anywhere. This is Military Red, which I have yet to use but I've used this this is like a ox for ox blood or something like that this color is so pretty look it has a little like plaid pattern on the bullet how cool is that I mean these are fancy so we're keeping these um but this this is a no from me this like tart sparkly gloss like what is this why do I want to wear this no though these two-faced like butter these guys I feel like it smells okay but it's probably oh it's so pretty hmm is this like uh oh this is pink chocolate and this one is sweet maple they both smell okay Well, they're very, these are pretty. Um, pink chocolate, they're actually really pretty. Hmm. Okay, we're keeping these. <laughs> I was so, I was so ready to like throw these in the pile of like discards, but um, we're keeping them, they're cool. Okay, that's fine, you can stay. This I'm never going to use. This is the Rouge Infusion from Sephora. It's brand new in its packaging. It's got to go. I'm sorry. Uh, I've used that. I like that. Oh, this is like a scrub. That's fine. That can hang around. Some of these have been around for a while and they really have to go. Hi, this is a sample of the like Dior Lip Maximizer and this is bomb. Look, it's almost gone. I've used the heck out of this thing and I need to buy a full size, but it's so expensive. I just don't want to, but I love this. It doesn't make any sense that I would not buy a full size of that. Yes, it's expensive, but I'll be happy. And you know what? Again, YOLO. What am I doing with my life? It's one of those things that makes your lips burn. I love that. Does anybody else love that? Leave a comment down below. I love it. The rest of these are a little like bite samples. I got... Okay. This is um, Kia Royale. I've worn that one. Radish. She's really bright. I don't know if I can like get away with this anymore. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I'm keeping it. Come on, Kay. All right, Palomino, I think we can like, I mean, I'm not going out with that on, right? I mean, maybe this one, but not, not this one. So I'm just gonna, it's really old, so I'm just gonna throw it in the trash. Um. Cause nobody wants that radish radish is radish the same as why do i have three that look almost exactly the same what is up with that radish is super pretty though okay you have two lipsticks that look exactly the same because they are exactly the same you swatched radish two times <laughs> so we're keeping her <laughs> um this is chai. Something tells me that chai. Ch oh, that's pretty. Chai and like one of these colors, they look very similar. Like that's the Too Faced colors and then chai 
is super similar, but that's fine. <laughs> it's a different formula, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that. This big and sexy pink decoy. What the heck is this? Oh, something tells me that I'm. I can't. All right, you, you serious? What is this? Okay. Let's box them. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, that one's cool. Licorice. I don't think I've worn this one in a while. Let's see. Swatch her. Oh, it's intense. Um, yes. We love her. The rest of this stuff, actually, what is this? What is this nonsense? It's a little sample, and I, I don't think, I don't feel comfortable giving it to anyone, so I'm just going to throw it in the trash, but like, well, that's pretty. Okay, we're keeping that as well. <laughs> this is not going well. Um, Nori, I've, I've worn that one several times. Quince. Quince is super pretty. Quince is like the, a, a pink like all the rest of these. Let's see. It's the exact same as that one. Well, it's a little different. <laughs> How stupid is this? It's fine, I'm keeping it. It's not a big deal, okay? Um, Fenty Beauty, the gloss bomb. I have mixed feelings about this. It's kind of sticky. Eh. I stay at it. You can't even get this anymore. Like, this is like... So... Oh, wait, is it... It's more sheer than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. But it's not great. <sighs> nah. Okay. I'm going to finally take this Anastasia lip gloss out of the packaging. <laughs> it's been in there for a while. It's deep, right? It's like really intense, but I really like this. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put my gloss over here. This Lorac Pro like light lip stuff. Do I want to wear this color? It's too, it's re, no, I can't. I just, it's too vampy. Okay. Um, wow. There's not a lot left. Like, let's be honest. So there's only, this is all of my lip stuff now. Um, I have some stuff up here, um, but this is like my, up here, meaning up in my drawers. Like this is some top shelf stuff, but that's what's remaining. That's sad. Okay, I'm gonna take off all of these swatches. That did not go very well. How do the beauty gurus do this all the time? Like, I, I have stains all over my arm because of the lipstick, but we got oil to the rescue, so hopefully I still have a little bit of stainage on there. It looks like I like really bruised my hand or something. Okay, this is labeled fragrance, and it is, except I have a mirror in there, which is totally random and should be moved to the, the the drawer with all of like oh no look at look at how sad that is the, okay i took this out of my purse and i was like oh it's broken i'm just gonna put but i put it back in my drawer well like what i'm gonna throw this away it's broken confession confess this is so you might you guys might think i'm gross after this but like these are old okay these are the the urban decay like flavored powders that were released I don't know when these came out, but these are old. And I got a little sample of them and I still have them. <laughs> they're awesome. Oh my gosh, stop beeping. And they, they're like glittery powders, right? Boom, boom, boom. So they, they glitter on your hand or your body or whatever and they smell and taste like whatever. So there's one like cake, there's a honey, and there's a red hot, which is like cinnamon flavored. I still have these and don't judge, but I still use them on like fun date nights because they taste nice. If you know what I'm saying, they're amazing. You can't get them anymore. Um, but you know, it's powder. It's fine. It's freaking powder. Okay. So here, here is some sample. These are, I have these for all of there. The fun thing about these is they're still in the box. Okay. Oh, they come in. Oh, cute. I didn't know it was two of them. Okay, um, let's, truthful and giving. Oh, that smells good. Grateful and compassion. And all of these, I'm like, I smell it and I'm like, not a fan. And then I like, smell it for a few more moments and I'm, I kind of dig it. It's nice. 
I don't even know if they make these anymore. I, like, this, I feel like I got these like a few years ago and just didn't ever try them. I just kept them in the box because I was like, oh, a box. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, like, if people give you samples in a box, you're just like, wow, cool, it's in a box. And you never take them out. Do you know what I mean? Is that crazy? Anyone in the comments, leave a comment. All right, this is compassionate. Okay, this one I don't think that I like at all. So I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. It smells... It smells like... It smells like exactly what they say it smells like, which is watery floral vanilla. And that's not really my favorite. There's a vanilla that I like by um, Atelier Cologne that's really beautiful and sexy, but this, this ain't it. So we're gonna give that away. Here's the vanilla I was talking about. This is by Atelier Cologne and this is Vanille Encensé, I think it is pronounced. Vanille Encensé. Anyway, it is so good. It's the only vanilla fragrance I can tolerate. It's like got a sexy kind of smokiness to it, almost like tobacco. Um, it doesn't, it's not sweet and cloying like vanilla usually is. It's just um, rich and sexy. It smells a little bit like vanilla extract plus smoke. You know what I mean? Um, it's just so good. It smells actually pretty sweet in the, in the sprayer and then when you spray it in your skin it reacts with your skin and makes it, it smells so good. This is the only vanilla I will ever wear. Otherwise I don't like vanilla fragrances. I think they're gross. Uh, it's too, I mean, too, no offense if you like vanilla, but like it's too cloying. It's just really sweet for me, but this, this is some sexy fragrance and it's bomb. So check it out. Vanille Encensé, uh, Atelier Cologne. I'm a huge fan of Atelier Cologne. I think I have, um, I have so many Atelier Colognes. I have like a bunch down here that I love so much. I've got like these. I mostly have these little tiny like travel sprays because you can go through them and use them up and you don't you don't have to commit to like a big bottle which is pretty expensive. But um, I think the best seller is like Orange Sanguine. It smells like oranges. It smells so good but like a lot of these are just so Super sexy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually super upset about this one. This is um, Bio, uh, Bois, Bois Blanc, <laughs> Bois Blanc, and it is really hard to find in this small size. And look how much is left. Like, uh, this is a level one emergency. Like, I am so upset. I use this one so much. It smells like really. It just smells fresh and like beautiful. These and another thing about these scents is they're not, they're meant to be like a unisex fragrance. So some of these, but decidedly some of these are a little more cedary, uh, AKA masculine. And some of these are a little more floral, AKA feminine, I guess, than others. But like, this is just so cedary and fresh and nice. And I think it's really hard to find in this size. So I think I have to commit to like a bigger size, which is like a hundred dollars or something like that. <sighs> But whatever, this one's probably my favorite. We're, we're <laughs> that was the departure from whatever's going on in here. You guys came for the decluttering and organizing. Okay, uh, Crabtree and Evelyn. This is like rose or something. I gonna be. I don't like this, so it's gotta go. Okay, here's all my like little tiny samples. Uh, <laughs> I love these. Uh, wow, I've used. I haven't got a bunch of these like Versace crystal ones. Um, I've actually I used these. Did I say? I've got Versace Crystal and then I've got like Givenchy uh, Very Irresistible in here twice. I think I had, no, I just have the crystal in here. No, I have each of the, these in here twice, which is hilarious. Um, but I use, I use these. Per, I, I go through these. They're like, it's like a thing that I do. So I'm happy with keeping them around. Uh, perfume doesn't really go off uh, for like 10 or so years. So they're in my little like bite beauty container. Uh, I just got some like little bits and bobbles down there. Whoa, 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 look at that. But like I've got some hand cream that's almost done so I'm going to take that out actually. I've got some tissues and more samples. More samples. I'm going to remove this one from the packaging so that I can actually use it. There. So I think the rest of these are good. But I'm going to move these little samples into here. I have a little um I have a little atomizer, but it's empty right now. And yeah, that works better. That ain't it, sis. That's that's terrible. I fixed I fixed it. I fixed it. That works a lot better. And this can be like random. I don't care about that. Okay. What's in here? Oh, this is eye stuff. This is fun. 
So I have like leftover eye pencils and eye, actually there was a little like razor. I use these razors to do my brows. I don't like, sometimes I pluck them, sometimes I use the brows that we do use the razors. It varies. And I got some extra eye pencils in here. They're mostly like um, eyeliner pencils like these guys for liquid eyeliner so I that's fine I don't use li uh, not liquid eyeliner but cream eyeliner and I use it that much this is an eye uh, comb eyelash comb and a little eyeshadow eyeshadow I can't I cannot talk today eye brow brush and I should take the packaging off there <laughs> I've never used that um, but that's where I keep extra brushes and stuff it's fine I have a little tiny pair of tweezers in here <laughs> I love these little tweezers actually I take these to the dressing room when I am in the opera and um, they come in handy because they're small uh, but the eye drawer is probably good let me check out the lashes and see if any are like crazy late mainly I've been using these like lash trios because they look more natural um, than the strip lashes but these look pretty natural and I'll use those soon these um these look crazy these like pro uh, eyelashes from pure they look crazy but I'll use them first on stage I, I can't use those like in real life it's just insane is this lash oh this is primer um well I haven't run out of eyelash eyeshadow primer yet so I can't dig into that these lashes I've used uh, uh, over and over these were these are mosquito lashes they're awesome these lashes I haven't used yet these are house of lashes they're kind of cute are these lashes too yeah, these are lashes too I don't wear lashes very much. These is actually mascara. I don't wear lashes very much um, in real life, but I wear them on stage all the time. Um, it's just part of the whole like opera stage kind of thing. There's another siren. Oh my gosh. So I don't wear lashes in my like regular everyday life, um, but I do wear them on stage all the time. So I, I keep a collection down here to take to the opera when, when, it, when it calls, when it calls. So everything else down here I think is fine. I have basically backup mascaras. Um, and even though I have backup mascaras, I still buy mascara, which makes me kind of a freak show, but whatever. It's fine. I have these little mascara ones just in case. Because sometimes, sometimes the one that comes with the mascara is the problem rather than the mascara formula. So I bought these um, disposable wands, even though you can wash them, from Sephora, and they've come in handy a few times. They have like multiple different tips on them. I don't know if Sephora still sells these, but they're pretty handy. So um, that's what those are in there for. And um, that's it, that's good, that's a good drawer from the bottom. The bottom drawer is kind of a problem child. That's where, like, where things just end up. Like why is there a toothbrush in here? I don't know, like let's, let's take her out and then um, there's Advil. I have two of these sealed Advils in here. This is something that belongs like in my purse drawer, so I'm gonna take this out and put it in there. Actually, both of these are things that belong in like my purse, purse box. I don't know how they ended up here. Can we focus? I don't know how they ended up here, but like they, um, they need to go to another place. Okay, so here's the thing. I wanted to have some body care stuff in here as well so that I can move it out of the bathroom and put it in here. So I think I'm gonna consolidate one of these drawers with each other, because I know that this like Sol de Janeiro body cream, I'm gonna use this. I got this in BoxyCharm and I'm super excited because it smells so good. It's more of a summertime thing, because it's, I mean, it smells like a mar, like a pina colada or something like that. Um, so I don't, ooh, I just opened it. I'm like, woo. Um, but I'm not gonna use it right now, but I'm definitely gonna use it this later. Why is my phone ringing? So in my last video, I was struggling to fit all of my like bases into one drawer. And I just, I wanna keep it that way. It's getting too crazy. But like, now that I found like this little dude, I can fit all my stuff in here, except for my primers, which I've kept on the top. But I don't mind that because like, that's the kind of stuff that should be up there is primers. I'm thrilled. I, it's stupid, but I'm thrilled, yay. Here's what I've decided that it's sort of a spa drawer. So I've got um, these are. This is not part of the spa drawer, but this is basically my vitamins and supplements and stuff like that. I have like gummy vitamins, and then I have um, 
what is this? Vitex, and then I take vitamin C and I take iron um, because I'm having a hard time right now. So those can hang out in there. And then I have all of my like masks. So if I wanna do like a face mask or an eye mask, they're all in here. And then I've got my special body creams. I don't use these very much because I, I don't know they're in here, but now that I've got a special spa drawer, I think I might be more inclined to. It's Little Clover Dog. Hello. Say hi. Little Clover Dog is coming to visit. Well, here is the nail polish stuff. I was keeping this in the drawer, but I guess I'm not gonna need this drawer anymore because I'm gonna use, I'm gonna dump them all into this drawer. So this is a good chance to also declutter the nail polishes, which, is this video getting really, really long? I, I think it is. So um, I'm gonna save that for the next video. No, I'm gonna do that really quick and I'm gonna um, just put the stuff in there. So now it's nails and fragrances, which kind of makes sense. Now I've consolidated two entire drawers into one, which is awesome. So I have to relabel these and that'll be fun, but uh, that's easy. So, oh dear. Look at him though, like really. Clover, what is your deal? Look at that leg. Look at it. Look at that chicken leg. All right, so I think I'm done. Now I'm gonna be honest and say that this project took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. Like, I think I've been doing this for two hours. However, I am satisfied with the results. So um, if you guys are inspired by this, give it a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more uh, fun organizing home content and uh, more clover, because nobody has enough clover. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next one. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.